Holy I'm going green, very, very green. Actually, I'm going black. Unfortunately, I have to get my landscape on. And what's even more unfortunate is our mower, well, it doesn't really run. Of course I'm missing the spark plug socket. You wanna know an easy way to take off a mechanic? I had a spark plug socket. I looked everywhere. I thought I had two of them. I know there are a lot of you that don't have to go through the winters that we have to, but I also know that there are a lot of you that go through even more extreme weather than we go through. Now let me just tell the people down south, below New York State, weather and snow, is expensive. Maintenance sucks. Holy sh! No wonder I don't want to run it. Can you imagine breathing through that? This clean filter might make it slightly easier to breathe. Yesterday my mother tried to start this up. She says, that damn thing don't run. I'm like, last year it started like first or second pull every time. I'm here with Jake the Toilet Snake. What's up guys? We are going to hopefully work on this GS1000. We're looking at the points here and the, the condensers and this whole plate is just completely jerry-rigged. Well, first of all, we have a lot of corrosion. We have a nut here, we have a nut here, and then a washer here. Like there's no consistency here. The only screw that probably is the original screw is this flat head right here. That looks like it's gonna need some work. As you saw when I did buy this bike, it had compression. What were the numbers, Jake? Do you remember? 110. 110! Woo-hoo-hoo! Next cylinder! Like 120, right? Yeah. Around 120. Yeah, of course. Lubed up, all the cylinders were at about 120 PSI. I ended up doing a test on the coil packs, and both coil packs are shot. So we dug deep into the wallet, got some parts. The parts are right here. Here's both coil packs, new boots, and then here's our points and condensers. Do you want to do like a, a small test? Do you want to just change out the coil packs first and then like test it to see if it has spark to see if that jerry rig mesh works? Sure. Or should we just do coil packs and right to the points and condenser? That's up to you. Probably, I, I, think I mean, we can try the jerry rig. I think that would kind of be neat. Yeah. It's I like, agree. does it really work? Can that mess really work? Can all that cro It might. You never know. You screwed up my boot, buddy. Yeah, it wasn't even connected. Maybe that's why that one didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's too short, huh? What the heck kind of crap is that? <laughs> what the heck kind of crap is that? Are you sure you bought the right ones? It said 1979 GS 1000. These should be the outside wires. All right, Jake, now I'm gonna turn this over. You're gonna put your tongue on this. Yeah. <laughs> Test number one. Like I said, the points, the, the whole system shot on the points of condenser. So we're gonna have to take that whole plate off. That's not very surprising to me, was it you? I mean, did, did, you, did you see it? Jake, this is a very, very nice machine here. This is all stock. Do not strip those nuts and bolts. I don't plan on it. I wonder if he got the wrong length and if that's why he nutted it. And he just spaced it out, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, bring it. It's close enough. We got some issues. 
Series. This bike was made in 1979, okay? It's not surprising that aftermarket parts don't line directly up to the previous parts. Let me just show you. Here are the original parts to this bike. As you can see, it has two holes for two screws to go into, where the new parts I purchased only have one space to screw a screw into. Also, the condensers are different because they each have a screw. As you can see, they're just, they're different. Along with the coils. Now, hopefully we got the right coils. I'm, I'm not very impressed with the box that it came in because it says Kawasaki. But then on the receipt, it says GS1000, which this is, this is a Suzuki. So I was kind of hoping by punching in the year and punching in the model of this bike and doing a quick online search that I could find the right parts. As you can see, this doesn't directly bolt in. The receipt says it's the right part, but the box doesn't. Should I email them? I think I'm much further ahead by sending the other ones back and using a similar style to this. Otherwise, I'm gonna be out a lot of time and I just wanna get this engine running. I wanna get this engine firing on all cylinders. Otherwise, I'm gonna have all this time into fabricating and we won't be anywhere. You're still gonna have a lot of fabricating time when you just throw that into the I, game. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So, so, so time saved here will help us in, later on. So I guess I'm out of luck, but Jake's in luck. I got this beautiful Jake's shop sign from Mr. Miles. I'm gonna wear it to work tonight. <laughs> Classy. Where are you gonna hang that up? Do you, do you have any idea or no? <laughs> no, not yet. We gotta see how much wall real estate we have. This is the game plan. I'm buttoning it up for now. I'm going to contact both companies, make sure I have the right coil packs, get a different points and condenser, put this thing to the side, and get the show rocking and rolling. I can't believe both parts don't work. Not just one, two. What the heck? Can't be making a super powered gator without, without the correct parts. Hopefully soon, baby, hopefully soon.